Ava, Sarah from the upcoming. Such a pleasure to speak to you. So could you just kick off with a brief introduction to your film, Mothering Sunday? Um, I think it's a movie about being human, you know, just surviving what it is to go through grief and loss and um, how do you make sure that you don't get crushed by the weight of it? It's a movie about the small things and the beauty of the small things. And what a stellar cast you managed to assemble from Colin Firth and Olivia Coleman, but also Josh O'Connor and, and an outstanding performance from Odessa Young. So how did you put this cast together and work with them? Very traditionally, you know, we called the casting directors and the cast was just fantastic because they loved the film and they loved the script and they just wanted to go for it. And what I really loved about the film is it's got, you know, it's a period drama in some ways, but it defies a lot of our expectations of what we're, you know, we're used to seeing in a, in a period drama. I almost had the feel maybe of the hours or, and there's references to Virginia Woolf. So, you know, what did you want the film to look and feel like? Yeah. Um, you know, it's a... Uh, it's just like the, the the whole thing about making movies right now this period is to remember what it feels to be part of a collective and retranscribe like the personal story and how we feel together around it. And I guess you know, so I'm maybe I'm veering off track, but I think it's important just to to go through the personal experience of like everybody being part of it and putting it together. Why do you think it was important to put Graham Swift's novel on, on the screen now? What do you think it has to say to a contemporary audience? Uh, I think the story is fabulous. You know, it, was just, it just made sense. You know, it's, a, it's a very relevant story of a young woman. And he just basically wrote the, the novel in 2016. And you know, like the time it takes to adapt the, the story, it's, it's, about, you know, it's about that. It's about five years. And, you know, do you think post Bridgerton we are getting a different version of period dramas and certainly having more of those intimate scenes than perhaps we've seen in the past? Uh, I hope so. You know, I definitely feel that I'm part of the change and that, you know, like people like Liz and, and Josh and all of us are just definitely working towards that together. And how does it feel to have your film here at London Film Festival? Uh, it feels amazing, you know, like seeing people and, you know, like showing the movie, it's, it's great. And do you feel like there's also a, a bit of a change in direction? There's so many more female film directors here and so many more complex female characters being put on screen. Just the beginning, you know, it's still not enough, you know, from doing the work. Well, you know, it was not easy because there were COVID restrictions and, you know, we, it, it's it just makes everybody's life harder. It's really hard enough to make a movie, so yeah. on top of it, you know, it's, it's not easy. No, I mean, you know, like you, you do one take and another take, and you know, like you just keep on working and shaping it up, basically. Because it's about intimacy, it's not about being sexy. It was not there, you know. I think, I think it's just part of what happens between two people who love each other and it's important to portray it and it's important to portray it for what it is and the main thing about it is not the nudity, it's the intimacy and that's what I wanted to go for. Making good, challenging, you know. Uh, I don't know, I have to say, I didn't think too much about the issue of going from literature to screen, just the script was so great. I think, you know, that's more something that Alice, the approach, the writer, had to deal with. Um, I just trusted the fact that the actors we had were kind of okay and you know, we could maybe make something good together. Well, my previous film was about British women getting kidnapped. 